Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. I am using my new GoPro, so if I'm not looking at the camera or if I'm looking elsewhere, I'm just trying to figure it out, honestly. So today's video is going to be how I measure my clothing to sell on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay, or Facebook Marketplace, or really anywhere that you're gonna be selling clothing. All right, so some things that you're going to need to measure your items. I always write my measurements down in a book. So as you can see, there's lots and lots of stuff that I've already done. So you just wanna open up to a new page, a pen or writing utensil, and then a measuring tape. Now it can be a real measuring tape, like the metal one, or it can be a fabric measuring tape that is pliable. I like to stick it around my neck. That way it doesn't get lost. And you can buy these literally anywhere. The dollar store, Walmart, Amazon, anywhere you choose. I think that I got this one from like a mini sewing kit or something. So these are important items. So then what I do is just move my book all the way up out of the way. I do put my tape around my neck. So like this. And so first we're going to start with a pair of pants. So this is a pair of Reese pants. So what I do is I will write down in my book, Reese pants. Now, if I had more than one Reese pants, I would obviously put like different factors, but I only have one pair. So for Reese pants, I am going, or just for pants in general, we're going to do waist, hips, length, inseam and rise and I just write the first letters of the words so that I know what I'm doing and I pretty much put them in the same order so that when I'm doing them fast or I'm doing multiple pair of pants I know exactly what I need to measure and when. So you want to use any flat surface as you can see I am using my washing machine. I do all of my pictures in my laundry room so that's why it is a little bit sloped but for the purpose of taking measurements it works. So you'll want to lay the garment flat. You wanna make sure all of the buttons and zippers are closed. And then, so the waist, let me get my measuring tape. Obviously you wanna start at number one. <laughs> you wanna make sure everything is laid flat. For the waist, you just take it up to the top and you measure all the way across here. So you'll see that this is 14 and a half inches. I'll show you that here. So 14, we're gonna write down here, 14 and a half. So for hip measurements, you want to measure right below the end of the zipper seam or whatever this is called here. And you just take it from one end to the other. So this is about, see it comes to 19 inches total, but it's not actually 19 inches. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna say it's 18 and three quarters. So I'll write down 18 and three quarters. Next is to measure the rise. Where this seam here ends in the crotch area all the way up to where the waistline is. So I'll stick that there and run that all the way up here. So the rise here is 10 and a half inches. So rise, 10 and a half. So then for my length, I just move the pants up. So for the length, I'm going to measure all the way to the top of the waistband and all the way down, which you're not gonna be able to see, but I'll move it up, all the way down to the bottom of the leg itself. So here, this is 41 and a half inches. So that's my length, 41 and a half. And then the inseam, so it's basically this middle crotch seam. You're gonna just measure it on the side here and then take it all the way down to the bottom of the leg. And you'll see that this measures 31 inches. This is a 31 inch inseam. So here we have all of my measurements and that's good to go. One note about pants and just waistlines in general, if it's 
has stretchy or elastic in it, I will do one measurement with a just laying flat and then I will stretch it out and measure with my measuring tape to show exactly how much extra space the person can expect to have. So next we have a shirt by the brand Beach Lunch Lounge. This is a women's shirt. So I'm just gonna write down the brand Beach Lunch Lounge. I actually shorten it to BBL because I only have one Beach Lunch Lounge item so I know exactly what I'm talking about. And we're going to do chest, length, and sleeve. So here you see it's chest, length, and sleeve. And then you wanna lay it flat again. Don't force it so that it's stretched out, but just that it naturally lays flat. You wanna make sure if there are any buttons or zippers that those are closed. And then we take our measuring tape and we're going to measure from pit, or like right underneath the armpit, to pit. So this shirt is about 23 and a half inches. Next is the length of the shirt. And with the length, you just want to measure at the top of the shoulder all the way down to the bottom hem. And you'll see that this one is actually two different measurements. So this has, it's slightly higher in front than it is in the back. So I will write both measurements. So we have 26 and we also have 28 because it's a little wrinkly here at the bottom. So 26 and 28 for front and back length. And then what I do is I just put 26 to 28 because I know that I measured the front first and that the second number is the back. And then lastly, we have the sleeves. Now, I know that people measure sleeves differently. This is how I do it, so make sure that you do whatever is best for your business. Also, I just realized that there is uh, like makeup stain here and I did not realize that while photographing. So measuring items is actually another way for me to look for flaws. It's almost like a double or triple check. So keep that in mind too. All right, so for sleeves, I actually measure from the pit down to the cuff. Some people measure from the top shoulder seam and down, but I just think that this works better for me because not all sleeve seams and shoulder seams are alike. So I just do pit down to cuff, and you'll see that this measures 17 inches, so we're gonna put 17. And in my listing, which I'll put a, a screenshot up here for you, I do put sleeve 17 inches from pit so that people understand that. So next up are skirts. Skirts are actually really easy and um, one of the things I enjoy measuring the most. So this is a Sparrow skirt. And so we're gonna write that down, Sparrow skirt. And for skirts, I just measure the waist, the hips, and the length. If it's a skirt that has a penciled silhouette to it, I won't measure the hips because it's typically just a straight line, but um, this skirt kind of flares out, so. So again, for the waistband, we're going to measure from the top of the waist to the other side, and that is about 13 and a quarter inches. Now this skirt is stretchy, so I am going to hold my measuring tape here on the side and I'm gonna stretch it until it doesn't go anymore. So this measures about 16 inches stretched. Next are hips. So there is no zipper seam here, but I'm just gonna measure where I think the hips would fall, which is just down a little bit from the waist. So this is about 21 inches. And then the length is just going to be from the waist down to the hemline, which is about 19 inches. Next we have a cabbie jacket. This is how I measure all jackets. Here's the cabbie piece. I already wrote it down and the measurements on this one is going to be chest, waist, length, sleeve and also the shoulder to shoulder seam in the back and I'll show you what I mean with that. So we wanna of course lay it out, make sure anything is zippered, if there is a closure. Again, pit 
to pit. So this is about 19 and three quarters inches. The waist is probably very similar because it kind of is just a straight line, but I will measure it. Actually, it's smaller, so it's 17 and a half. The length, again, we're going to measure from the top shoulder seam all the way down to the bottom hem. This is about 25 inches. Now when I say about, I don't say that the measurements are approximate in my listing because approximate is a very long word to use and I try to use as many other keywords as I can. So I think most people understand that it's not going to be 100% correct, but at least gives you an idea. Again, with the sleeve, so I'm going to measure right underneath the pit down to the cuff. So that's 18 and a half inches. And then the back seam. So there typically is a seam. Well, this has multiple seams. So I'm going to measure from the shoulder seam to shoulder seam over here. And that just gives the customer an idea of if their shoulders are going to fit or not. So this is, and I always measure within, I always measure within the seam. So like I put my tape next to it. So this is 14 and a half, shoulder to shoulder and back. All right, and that is how I measure my items for selling clothing on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay, or anywhere on the internet. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can also hit the bell on the side to get notified when I put up new videos, which is at least once a week. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.